Smoking kills 480,000 Americans a year. Jacinda Ardern led government would have banned cigarette sales next year. Health experts are urging Canada to get even tougher on tobacco. Estimated 46,000 Canadians die from tobacco use each year. Cigarette smoking is related to more than 8 million deaths annually and lung cancer is overall the second most common type of cancer in the whole world. Our lungs play one of the most crucial roles in our body, ensuring that we receive enough oxygen in our cells for our survival and getting rid of the carbon dioxide produced in our body. Cigarette smoking can have drastic negative effects on our lung, which can range from excessive production of mucus to complete destruction of the whole lung. You can see the stark difference in the appearance of a smoker's lung as compared to a non-smoker's lung in this video. Now everybody knows that cigarettes harm our lungs, but have you ever wondered why that is the case? How do cigarettes actually damage our lungs? Well, to understand these effects, we first need to understand the basic structure of lungs. We'll start at the windpipe, also known as the trachea. On the upper end, the trachea is connected to the mouth and on the lower end, it splits into two smaller tubes called bronchi, each of which goes to one of the lungs. These bronchi then divide into even smaller tubes called bronchial tubes, which help to carry air into our lungs. Think of it like a branching network of air passages that gets smaller and smaller as they branch further. This network of air passages ends in small bubble-like structures known as alveoli. These are tiny air sacs where the actual gas exchange process takes place. The oxygen present in the fresh air moves from the alveoli to our blood and the carbon dioxide produced by our body moves from the blood to the alveoli, which gets expelled as we breathe out. So this was a gross macrostructure of the lungs. Now to understand how exactly cigarettes damage the lungs, you need to zoom in on one of the walls of these airways and understand a few microscopic structures present in them. The lining of our airways have special type of cells known as goblet cells. When stimulated, these goblet cells produce and release mucus, which is a sticky substance and has a very important job of trapping any foreign particles that we breathe in, like dust, pollen or bacteria. The lining of our airways is also covered with tiny hair-like structures known as cilia. Cilia have a very interesting property that they move in a wave-like motion and help to remove the mucus that gets deposited over them. This helps to keep our air passages clean and avoids buildup of any foreign particles in our lungs. Now coming to why you clicked on this video. What happens to your lungs when you smoke cigarettes? Smoking is related to a host of lung diseases. But the most common ones include chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and lung cancer. Let's understand how these conditions develop in a smoker, starting with chronic bronchitis. Cigarette smoking is the number one risk factor for developing chronic bronchitis. Over 90% of patients with chronic bronchitis have a smoking history. When you smoke a cigarette, the tar present in the smoke enters your body and starts to build up in your airways. It has an interesting effect on the goblet cells, stimulating them to produce more mucus than normal. This buildup of tar blocks the cilia from properly functioning, causing tar to accumulate in the airways. Also, the various chemicals present in the smoke are extremely toxic to the cilia. They damage the cilia due to which the wave-like motion of cilia gets disturbed and they are unable to remove the excessive mucus buildup in the airways. This buildup of mucus causes narrowing of the lumen of airways due to which the air passage to them slows down and breathing gets difficult with time. Now another problem that develops here is that the mucus is supposed to catch harmful germs and pathogens. But when it can't be removed because of the blocked cilia, these germs stay in the system. This causes a higher risk of infection. Over time, the cells in the airways become irritated and inflamed by these pathogens. When this inflammation lasts for a long period of time, it causes something called as COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The most common COPD is called chronic bronchitis. These diseases make breathing extremely difficult and can cause coughing, shortness of breath or wheezing. To fight off these pathogens stuck in the mucus in your airways, your body sends in a type of white blood cells called phagocytes, a natural bodily response to unwanted bacteria. 
These phagocytes release special enzymes to break down tissue to reach these pathogens. However, these enzymes end up damaging the lung tissue itself, especially the walls of alveoli and bronchioles. This is very dangerous because it causes the alveoli to lose elasticity, which makes it difficult for them to allow air in and out. This damage also causes the airways to become narrower, which puts a lot of pressure on the alveoli, causing them to burst sometimes. This further reduces the area for gas exchange. Over time, this can lead to a condition called emphysema, which is a really serious condition that can cause further difficulty breathing and reduced lung function. So what we have seen so far is that in the short term, smoking cigarettes can lead to a smoker's cough and increased risk of lung infections. In the slightly longer term, it can lead to COPDs such as chronic bronchitis, which causes shallow breathing, difficulty inhaling, shortness of breath, etc. Further, it can lead to emphysema, which can lead to reduced lung function, reduced oxygen in the blood, coughing up blood, and severe cardiovascular and other health risks. Another major risk associated with smoking is lung cancer. Tobacco smoke contains over 7,000 chemicals, and at least 250 of them are known to be harmful, with more than 60 identified as carcinogens. These carcinogens include substances like benzene, formaldehyde, arsenic, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and more. Carcinogens in a cigarette smoke can directly damage the DNA in the cell lining of the lungs. This damage can lead to mutations which can disrupt the normal control of cell growth and division. Smoking causes chronic inflammation in the lungs. Inflammation is a normal response to injury, but chronic inflammation can lead to tissue damage and an environment which is favorable for the development of cancer. The combination of DNA damage, cellular changes, and chronic inflammation increases the likelihood of development of tumors in the lungs over time and these tumors can become cancerous. So overall, there are several ways in which smoking cigarettes can damage the lungs. However, the good news is that all of this can be reversed with abstinence and taking good care of your lung health. We have previously made a video on how to detoxify your lungs and I will leave a link for that video in the description box down below. If you like the video, make sure to support us on our Patreon page as it helps us to make more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.